two, three, and... I love it, I love, I love singing, you know, and Gareth is so good, you know, Gareth the choir master, he's a perfectionist, I think, really, so, um, you know, he really pushes us, and uh, that's what I like about it, really. When they've been with me for a bit, they kind of get my trust, and I get them to do loads of crazy stuff, which then hopefully gets an end result of what you heard and gets your hair standing up on it. It's a community choir. Um, we, we all just join in. It's, it's everybody, it's not just if you can sing the best or if you're a terrible voice, we join in and we all help each other. For me, it's just, it's an experience I've never had before and I really, really enjoy it. It's just lovely to be doing something with your voice. It gives, uh, I think I can speak for all of us, a lot of confidence to find our voice and realise that we have something to say. Deep Fruits Choir was set up as part of a song cycle that was written by um, Barb Junga, which um, was speaking about Corby and the things which took place in Corby and the history and the heritage of Corby. This choir is all about my hometown. There's no auditions. The joy of singing and belonging to a community choir is the main thing. I've been in choirs ever since I was a kid, sort of, over the years. And then you go to get married, you go to work and you don't do anything and now I've retired, it's back to the choirs again, and that's uh, <laughs> been great, because when you finish work, you can get a bit isolated if, if you're not careful. We just uh, enjoy it, and seeing each other every night, having a laugh, is like a therapy to all of us. It's a totally different style of singing to what a lot of them are used to, so they are really coming out of their comfort zone, and I think they're just starting to come out now, so I'm looking forward to the next year. I'm gonna